Hey Libra, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And these are your deep thoughts for the next two weeks, right? This will take us through the middle of June-ish, you know, depending upon who you are and how you process things. It could last a little bit longer. So whenever you see it to whenever it doesn't resonate anymore is when it's your reading, right? Um, if you would like a reading just like this, just for you, just for your situations, 50 bucks will hook it up if you click the link in the box below until August 1st. After August 1st, I am no longer offering $50 readings for my YouTube subscribers because it's too complicated. I have my regular general Joe Blow public that I read for, and then I have my YouTube channel that I read for. And then I have the new radio show, which is um, putting a lot of foot traffic through my website and doing a lot of new readings for people that have nothing to do with the general public or YouTube. They're coming from the radio show and um, they're, 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 they're clicking on the $50 link because I advertise my radio show, you know, uh, my YouTube channel on my radio show and they're coming to check me out and they're looking at my website and saying a hundred bucks versus 50 bucks on YouTube and they're getting the $50 readings but they're not understanding the importance of su subscribing to the channel because they're just regular folks. They're not doing it on purpose. They just don't understand the value of subscribers to a creator on YouTube. So I'm kind of getting screwed and I have to eliminate the whole thing. So I'm just going to streamline my life, make things a little bit easier, and we're all just going to pay the same price. <laughs> so if you are a client of mine now, or if you become a client of mine before August 1st, you will forever and always be locked into the $50 YouTube reading price. I will send everybody after August 1st a private link where they can schedule their $50 readings um, above and beyond anybody else, okay? All right, so 50 bucks, hook it up just like this, just for you up until August 1st. This is a general reading. This is not your personal reading. You have to promise me you are not going to make life altering decisions based on a general tarot card reading, okay? This is for the general collective sign of Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart at all, this very well may resonate with you. All right, Libra, so uh, let's get into this, okay? So you enter this reading as the King of Wands, and I know you're not in fire energy, you're in air energy, but your energy for the beginning of this reading is the King of Fire, the King of Passion. You got a lot of heat going on here, Libra. Um, you may be angry, you may just be full of passion, I'm not really sure, but nevertheless, you are the King of Fire right now. This King of Fire is looking like the Eight of Cups right there, right? They're feeling a lot of disappointment, hopelessness, right? The World card comes in and says that you are, what you're doing here, Libra, is that uh, this King of Fire is, is contemplating walking away, putting an absolute ending to something and starting a brand new cycle. What, what you're thinking about walking away from is a two of cups relationship, some type of important relationship in your love, whether it's in your love, in your life, whether it's love or partnerships, there's some kind of a relationship that you are just fed up with and you're going to close the cycle out, put an end to it and walk away right? This relationship is a, related to the King of Pentacles somehow. I believe that you don't, you don't have the control or the security in this relationship, right? Somehow, some way, you don't have control or security in this relationship. And you're gonna, you're thinking about walking away, closing out the cycle with this Two of Cups relationship, putting it to a complete and total end. However, this whole thought process right here is a burden for you. It's a struggle and a burden. Um, why is it a struggle and a burden, right? That's what I want to know. Why is it a struggle and a burden? Let's find out. So we come down here to the high priestess. 
This high priestess tells me that this is so much of a struggle and a burden, right? You're, you're conflicted about walking away, putting it to an end, closing out a cycle on some important relationship in your life where you feel like you are out of control, you don't have power, or, you know, you could be dealing with an earth sign too, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles is the card of Taurus, but nevertheless, um, for whatever reason, you don't, you don't have the security in this relationship that you would like to have. The high priestess reiterates that, right? Because now you're diving into your subconscious mind, your intuition, you're sitting down with your higher self, and you are truly trying to sort through all of this right here, Libra. The Nine of Wands comes in and says, while you are in the High Priestess energy, while you're having your sit down with the High Priestess, you're trying to muster up some courage. You're trying to muster up some courage and some resilience because like I said, for some reason, you are hesitant to, to put an ending to this relationship. You're trying to get some balance in your life right here. You're trying to get some balance in your mind, in your heart, in your soul about what the hell to do with this relationship right here. Work, family, home, doesn't matter. Three of Wands says, while you're in this high priestess mode right here, gaining some balance, getting some courage, trying to figure out why you're hesitant to do this, you are preparing yourself for a new beginning and a new journey one way or another, either with this relationship or without it. But you definitely want to close out a cycle of your life and, and, and move forward, right? Move forward. This Prince of Swords right here in the center of your reading, this entire reading revolves around action-orientated communication. However, this card is also telling me that you don't want to act hastily, right? And you, you're not having a disregard for consequences because I get the, the, the distinct feeling that if you close out this cycle in this, in this relationship right here, it's like final. It's like over, over, as over as the Ten of Swords can make something over, right? So you're being very hesitant. You're being careful. You don't want to act hastily, but something needs to be done in the situation, right? The chariot card comes in on top of that and reiterates that you are exhibiting some self-discipline when it comes to taking action in this situation, because like I said, you're just not sure. King of Swords comes in and says, you are going to drop the sword. You're going to make a decision. You're absolutely going to speak your truth. However, you're in the Nine of Swords, right? This whole situation brings a lot of anxiety and despair, right? Maybe even some kind of a painful lesson is covered by the Five of Cups, which tells me that you do have regret here. You have regret, you have a sense of loss, you have disappointment and despair, right? And moving on, you're thinking about just moving on, just like with the Eight of Cups, walking away, right? You're thinking about doing away with this entire situation, but you're anxiety stricken. Because like I said, if you do this, you know it is an absolute ending. And you probably will never speak to this person or these, these people ever again. So this big decision with the King of Swords right here, what is this all about? What's this all about? What is the hesitancy about here, Libra? Well, this is what it's about. This king of fire that you are entering this, this reading with the energy of, right? So this king of fire, this king of passion, this king of passion wants to fix it with the three of cups being reuniting, right? He wants to fix whatever this situation is up here. Three of Wands says that he's doing, he's preparing, right? He's preparing, but there seems to be obstacles in the way to any kind of long-term growth. And this King of Wands is, is trying to have foresight to determine whether this could be a successful reunion or not, right? 
So some kind of separation is going on up here. Some kind of separation where I think you're both not communicating the other party and you. You're not communicating and you're thinking about just chalking it up as an L and carrying on down the road, right? But in the recesses of your heart and your mind, there is hope. There is hope that this situation could be renewed, right? There's hope that, that perhaps if y'all could just talk, if you could work it out, that it might be renewed. It might not go back to being a two of cups situation, but there's a lot of um, sense of regret here for me, Libra. You don't want to regret eliminating this person from your life completely. King of Swords, again, King of Swords, clarifying King of Swords. This King of Swords, he's about to make a decision, right? He's about to make a decision, but he doesn't want to be tyrannical about it. Again, there's hesitation to do this. But what this King of Swords does want to do is cut out the conflict with the Five of Swords. He wants to cut out the conflict, the tension, the mind grain, the mind games that are going on right here, right? And this King of Swords, he, he's open. He's open to change. He's open to dealing with the past resentment and he's open to change. And what this King of Swords right here would really like is victory and progress in the situation. He really would. So that's where that's where the hesitation comes from. That's where the high priestess comes from. That's that's where the the delays and and the just not executing right now comes from. Right? You would like victory and progress in the situation. You don't want to make a hasty decision. You don't want to pull the trigger that completely and totally alienates you from this person forever, right? You don't want to make a hasty decision because what you'd really like is a reuniting, a reconciling, maybe not getting back together again, but, but making peace, making peace, right? Because with the Nine of Cups, you really do. You see this person as comfort and happiness. They bring some kind of comfort and happiness to your life, Libra. Your life is not quite the same without them in it. You feel a sense of loss um, and, and you don't like it. And I feel that very much right now. You feel a sense of loss with this person not actively in your life. Two of Swords comes in and says, you have a lot of confusion and indecision. Seven of Pentacles comes in and says, you're reflecting and assessing the situation a lot, right? Reflecting and assessing, wondering if the profit and reward is worth the investment. You're waiting. You're just kind of, kind of, kind of waiting it out. Maybe you're going to give it a little bit before you actually make a decision on any of this. Princess of Wands comes in. This Princess of Wands, she's about enthusiasm, exploration, and discovery, right? But she's also about pessimism. And I think you are pessimistic that either this person would be receptive to burying the hatchet or you're pessimistic that, that if you if you bury the hatchet with this person, that this relationship can ever even go anywhere beyond, um, you know, Facebook, right? Just like, hey, we're friends kind of thing. You're really up in your head about it, Libra, with the Eight of Swords, really, really up in your head about it. Um, can't stop thinking about it. This really, this really wears on you clarified by the hermit. You're doing some soul searching and some introspection, right? Some soul searching and some introspection, just really, really reaching down and trying to figure out what's going on. Because you have feelings, again, second time, eight of cups, you have feelings of disappointment and abandonment 
when it comes to this person, these people, this situation. And you're really thinking about walking away. You really are. Ten of Wands comes in. A burden. Again, Ten of Wands. Second time, it's a burden and a struggle for you. Is there accomplishment at the end? Maybe. That's why you're so indifferent. That's why you're so hesitant about this whole thing. Because maybe. There may be accomplishment at the end of this particular glitch in this relationship or this situation for you. Four of Wands comes in and tells me that there is a breakdown in communication, though. There is a definite breakdown in communication. And the Ten of Pentacles tells me that you are feeling a great sense of loss. You're feeling a great sense of loss about whatever this is for you, Libra. We have some outcome cards, okay? Um, where can I put them where you can see them? I'm just going to put them right in the middle here, okay? So the Hierophant. This Hierophant tells me that you have been in the High Priestess, in the Hermit, really struggling with your personal beliefs. You're, 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 you're struggling with personal beliefs because your personal beliefs have something to do with your hesitancy. Could it be perhaps that, that you were the trigger for all of this to go bad? Or is there something about the other person that you don't agree with that was the catalyst for a fight? I don't know. But your personal beliefs are definitely something that you are, are contemplating. Look, Four of Wands, contemplating. Four of Pentacles, really, really thinking and reevaluating yourself, searching yourself to see if there was something that you could have done differently that would have redirected this entire situation and we wouldn't be having this reading right here. Two fours in a row, that's interesting. This is about structure, foundation, stability. It's also about stagnation, which takes me back to your personal beliefs. Perhaps you need to upgrade what it is that you believe about this person or about the subject matter that was the catalyst for this, this, sent this loss. Well, you come to a major breakthrough. A major breakthrough, Leah. Leo. Leah. <laughs> is there a Leah out there? Leo. Why did I even say Leo? Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Leo. Libra. Leah. I don't know if that fits anywhere. Run with it. Take it and run. So anywhere, anyway, Libra, <laughs> you come to absolute mental clarity about something. You have a breakthrough, right? Because you're in the high priestess. You're in the hermit. You're in the eight of swords, the nine of swords, the five of cups, um, wanting renewal, wanting to, to reunite this whole situation right here, right? Eight of cups, five of cups, loneliness and loss. So while you're in these emotions right here, you come to a point of clarity, right? With the Ace of Swords about your personal beliefs. The clarity that you come to is the devil. You have discovered what the root of this problem is. This restriction that is in this restriction may be your personal beliefs, Libra. But there is some kind of, 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 a, of a realization of what the root of the problem is with this devil energy. This devil energy, my friend, is also about releasing your limiting beliefs. So perhaps during the whole time period of you processing all of this, because each one of these cards is a mental, emotional, or physical process, right? So maybe while dealing with all of this and processing all of this, trying to dig down and, 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 and clarify what your personal beliefs are about this situation, perhaps your mental clarity is the releasing of your own personal beliefs, releasing of limiting beliefs. Whatever it is, you come to the root of the problem. Ace of Wands says you're going to take inspired action. Page of Wands says you're going to communicate passionately. 
Four of Pentacles tells me you're going to try to, to regain stability in this situation with a major judgment call, a major judgment call that was derived from your sit down with the high priestess in the hermit energy. Queen of Swords tells me you're about to execute. You're about to execute a decision. All of this up here, right? All of this up here, you're about to execute. What are you going to execute? The Page of Pentacles. You're going to manifest. You're going to manifest the creation of a new beginning because your feels for the person, people, or situation here is overriding all other emotions and logic for that matter. Your feels for this person in this situation is overriding everything. And the Knight of Swords, which my friend is in the center of your reading, is the very last card of your spread. This Knight of Swords tells me that you are about to take some action and you are about to change the situation. You're absolutely going to change the situation. And that is your reading. And that takes us through the first two weeks of July. Now let's go back to these dice and your spiritual number, right? It was three. So three is initial achievement of goals, growth, creativity, abundance, expression, communication, and friendship. Look at that. Isn't that freaking amazing? Because that's exactly, exactly what's going on here. If we break these two dice down into an individual die, we have two, which is about balance, a crossroads, a choice, and a partnership, right? And then ones, of course, are new beginnings, opportunities, potential, and inspiration. So that's amazing to me that I just randomly rolled that and the three came out and it is your spiritual number for the next two weeks. Three, two, one, and three, right? So if you see these around, these are indications that you're on the right track, you're doing the right thing, and that you are on the right path for the next two weeks if this reading resonated with you. Again, if you'd like a $50 reading, um, they're still available until August 1st. You can hit me up in the link in the box below. And I do hope it resonated with you. Don't make decisions off of a general reading. And namaste, my friends. <laughs>